Hi again. Today I'm going to share with you how Sigma Xi was able to accomplish the results that I referenced in the email that I sent over to you. This year, this past year, um, they came to Giving DNA and said, we are interested in doing a combined federal campaign and we really have never done one before and we're not really sure how to do it. And so they worked with our client success team. And if you're not familiar with what a combined um, federal campaign or CFC is, it's basically workplace giving for government employees. So um, the people who give ha are giving through work their workplace and it's basically they need to be a government employee. So military, um, uh, postal service, and anybody that has a .gov as an email address on a from a business perspective. They were able to go inside their own file and find those individuals who they had an email address that was relevant to a .gov or a .mil, which are some of those government um, uh, uh, email addresses. Um, and they grabbed out that small list that they were able to segment within their own CRM. And then they came to Giving DNA and they said, how can we find people that are government employees that we don't have that information, those emails on. And so what we suggested to them is, is that although we couldn't tell you everybody who um, was a government employee, we could tell you those individuals that had military in their households. So they went and they grabbed their entire constituent file. And of course, they've uploaded this entire file into Giving DNA. So they grabbed the people who were in that were the, um, those individuals that they wanted to know everything about. And then basically all they did is they just applied our advanced filter, a veteran. So base, uh, the, the definition of that means that there's the evidence of a veteran in this home. So you can see I've got 18,000, over 18,000 people that are on this list. This is not their data. I have no idea how many people were in their database, but I'm just using our dummy database as a way to show um, uh, you this. And so they applied this and now this 18,000 ended up being a much smaller group. And these were the individuals that were actual um, um uh, um, that giving DNA had identified that they were, there was a veteran in their family. So they took this segmentation and they, and they sent a, a, an appeal out to them as well as an appeal out to those that they had created through their, um, through their own CRM, which were .gov and .mil and any other government exchange. Um, the group that they identified in giving DNA was about 2,800, a little over 2,800 people. Um, and of those 2,800 people with their very first CFC campaign, um, they were able to raise $6,837. The other list that they had pulled through their CRM um, was, a, was a smaller list, but it was still a, a decent sized list. And they were only able to raise $778 off of that list. So what you can see is, is that our list actually performed outperformed that other list. Um, by a, a huge percentage. I mean, it was like in the hundreds of percent um, that, it, that, that, it, um, that it outperformed the list that they pulled just out of their CRM. They were super excited about it. It was their first um, time doing this. They're going to continue to do this type of a campaign through the workplace giving um, of the government. Um, but again, just another great ROI success story with giving DNA. Thank you.